Hi there. Today, I'd like to demonstrate for you the slot machine program. I'd first like to give credit to senior Nathan Chan in period seven, eight, who developed all of the graphics for you today and this layout and basically uh, did a draft of the directions as well. So thank you, Nathan, for taking the time to do this for us. Uh, so what you see here is a non-animated version of the slot machine program. The interface has a place for the user credits and the user starts off with 10 credits and a initial bet of one. Pressing the arrow keys allows the bet to increase. If I move the arrow keys down, it decreases. Now I am continuing right now to hit the arrow key down. I can't bet lower than one, it will not allow it. And if I try to bet higher than 10, it will not allow that. Now if I had 15 credits, I should be able to go up to 15 credits. Directions say right in the middle of the screen, pre uh, press enter to play, so I'm gonna do that and it has detected that I have won because I have two matching cherries. So any two matching graphics or icons will be a win. If you have a three matching icons, that will also be a win. You can determine how many credits to award. So it looks like I had bet all 10 of my credits and it looks like it must have multiplied that by three and added on 30 additional credits. All right, I'm going to play again. Notice I can now go up higher in my betting and I'm going to bet 25, hit enter again. Oh my gosh, I'm winning a lot. Did you notice how uh, when I win, the graphic of the coin pops up, but when I change my bet, the coin goes away. Hitting enter again, I lost. Okay, my credits were reduced. Uh, now I have 45. I'm going to bet them all. Hit enter. The game is over. So that's the non-animated version. Notice if I try to bet at this point, it's not going to allow this. An extra credit option would be to add a button to start over. You could do that as well. Uh, as an option for extra credit. I'm now going to show you uh, a more advanced version for those of you who want to pursue some extra credit. And I'm just going to ignore these warning signs on the background. And this time, I'll give you a hint after you see what, I, what I'm going to bet. I'm going to bet four. I'm going to hit enter and check out the animation on the icons, which makes it seem a little more realistic, okay? So I have 46 credits, so I'm gonna try and bet a few more, hit enter. Okay, and I, it was a loss. The rest of the game looks the same. This just makes a more authentic looking slot machine. Uh, I wanted to give you a hint about how to do that. One way to do that is by messing around by changing the tick property on the clock. And as that tick becomes closer to zero, it would slow down. Additionally, another option for you would be to do a loop. Now, I haven't shared with you how to do loops, but if you combined a loop with a Pygame delay, if you want to look that up on the Pygame website, you could do that. And a loop combined with a delay might also provide the same actual effect on the program. So this is Slot Machine. It is the first program which you'll actually develop most of it from start to finish. Make sure that you fill out the planning sheet because that will guide your thinking. Thanks and have a great day.